think the first time we met each other, we, we were kind of forced into a very awkward situation where our faces were like quite literally this far apart. There was no such thing as a personal bubble after that, really. No, I don't like bubbles. <laughs> I felt like the first time that we met, that we already had knew each other for a while. Mm. There We'd was basically like been living parallel lives, lives. <laughs> that should have crossed once or twice, but they never did. We both did two Snow White movies at exactly the same, same time. time. Um, and we would go to so many of the same events and like, parties and we just never... I just avoided her, basically. At all costs, <laughs> and finally I was like, hey, you can't avoid me. This guy's cooler than um, I am. Yeah, I just Long worked out, we, we, we're finishing each other's sentences. So that's, we probably know each other. That's when you know you've spent too much time with somebody. Yeah. Uh, Sam Claflin is an unexpected goofball. Why unexpected? Because <laughs> I didn't think you were going to be a goofball. A gentleman. Nice. An old school kind of fella. And Lily is a kook. A really sort of fun-loving, young and sort of enthusiastic and positive. And Thanks. I'm saying a lot of words here, but um, I mean, they all mean you the can same keep thing. Keep going. Um, That's fine. She's a sort of girly girl. Like she likes her fashion and she likes her girly things. But I can hang with the dudes at the same yeah. time. Yeah. She's a duty girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love like Catherine Hepburn, Spencer Tracy, Audrey Hepburn, all like classic old school love stories. But they kind of were almost open books when it came to emotion. It's like the teasing aspect that, that didn't exist in older films. We kind of got to know each other well enough for me to be able to admit that, yeah, you know, I cared for her as a person and she was, you know, a good friend like any of my good friends are. And I think you also start to really care about the characters that you're portraying. I think once you sort of get involved in the story and sort of lose yourself within the character that you're playing, you kind of can't help but, mm. you know, go along for the ride. Um, it wasn't too difficult to yeah. imagine, you know, if you know what I mean. It's You can have love for so many people and love can be just as strong as the romantic type of love. And so when you're expressing that type of love and passion and it's real, it comes across in a universal way. It's a poem, isn't it? <laughs> love is a many... Splendid thing. <laughs> Love is lovely. Love is lovely. <laughs> love is rosy love. Love is rosy.